just finishing up my makeup. I had a very relaxing slow morning, which is exactly what I needed. I try to do that on the weekends, just slow down, have my coffee, have breakfast, do my devotionals, my reading, just zen, just like not rush. Obviously, if there's something going on, I have to go out, but I find my weekdays, I try to get up and be proactive. So on weekends, I want it to be a different feeling. And I'm just getting ready to go out. I'm going to be shooting some content today for a brand and I need to use some natural light. I also am putting on like full makeup for that because I realize I haven't done a proper full makeup face in <laughs> probably a week, just based on how busy I've just been doing like light makeup, which I actually, I do enjoy for most days but I used my Charlotte Tilbury, um, like the bronzer stick and the blush. And I think it just always makes me look like I've been in the sun, which I usually, I, I spend some time in the sun, but I'm not like in the sun getting any, any color or tan basically. I also did my hair last night. I washed it and then I used my Dyson to do some curls. They had to be touched up. This is, touched up already because sleeping on it doesn't really actually end up holding any curl. So I'm going through and touching it up just to give it a bit more body and definition because my hair tends to fall. The curls don't really stay. So I'm hoping this will hold it, especially with trying to get some content. I do want my hair to look nice for the content. I just, you know, there's something about having a good hair day that really makes things feel better. So hopefully this will stay. I don't think it's windy outside. Being windy is when it really falls. So fingers crossed it doesn't fall and I can just have a great time outside and have a good hair day. I also realized I haven't cut my hair in a couple months. So the pieces around my face are actually quite long, which doesn't look bad. It's just, um, longer than I normally would have it, but I feel like they're blending in well. When I got my hair cut um, at Theory 88, Tash cut it for me. She did such a good job of like, with the thick hair, getting it to blend in to itself and have like smooth lines because thick hair and layers or just blending can be hard sometimes and it ends up feeling very like Christmas tree effect where it's like very hard layers. But I think that's pretty good. I gotta spray it. And then the last thing I'll do is put on oil, but I need to change my earrings because that is the content I'm shooting is like jewelry, so necklace and earrings. So I need to change these and I don't want my hair or my hands to be all oily until I'm not having to touch my jewelry. I have to change all these earrings. But I think I'm gonna start with a like chunky front hoop. I just love a little chunky hoop because just it's like easy, but it's still really cute. I have four piercings on this side, so it's a lot to accommodate in all honesty, but I do already have some earrings from the brand Majuri. So I'm going to keep those ones in and try to mix in some other ones. So let's see what we can do with this little earlobe. Okay, I lied. These are gonna go in the second holes. I have a bigger one for the front. So I can do like a nice big chunky hoop stack. So that's the second hole. And then for the front, I know now my ears are all red, but I'm like, how cute. So I'm gonna move that one back on both sides. And then I have some cutie little diamonds. Yeah, that looks really good. I love a little diamond. It is my birthstone, so I come by it honestly. It's not my fault that I love a diamond. I was born in April, I have to, but there. I think it's a good stack, let's see. Okay, now I gotta get dressed. <laughs>
fruit? Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, let me get let me get a three pack. Three pack? Okay. Yeah. So let me get one original glaze. One original glaze? Yeah. Michael was very excited to get donuts. <clears throat> yeah, it's nice. It's nice to it's exciting to get a little treat. I mean, we used to go to Krispy Kreme a lot because we used to live in the suburbs before we moved to LA. We lived in the suburbs of Toronto and Krispy Kreme was our neighborhood spot, right? Yes, and, and we technically still live in the suburbs because... I mean, technically. Well, because if you've been to LA, that's all it is. It's one big suburb. It's all different little pockets, like little neighborhoods. Yeah. So this is our local Krispy Kreme. It's not that far from us. And, you know, Michael's been working all day. He's been grinding and he deserves a little treat. So we thought we'd come out of the house. I shot my content. Look at these earrings. My necklace. Um, is it for Mary? Is it for Michael? We'll never know. Look at this fun necklace. It's like a chain that you can put your own charms on. So I have a little diamond and an M. It's for Mary and Michael. How lovely. But we both did a bit of work today. As you saw, I hung out with my friend at the park, which was lovely. She was in the area. So I figured I would join them for a little park play date and enjoy the sunshine because it's actually quite hot still but we we are both manifesting fall i just want to wear layers again so before the sun sets we wanted to get out of the house have a moment of time together not on our computers or working because that's usually what ends up happening and enjoy a bit of the weekend because it's been a good it's been a pretty good weekend not too bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now the treats. No treat for me. Obviously, Krispy Kreme is not AIP friendly, but that's okay. I just had a chomps, which again, chomps keeping me alive. I love a chomps. And I do wish I could have a cookie or a treat, but we're doing well. I mean, the AIP is still going. The update about AIP is I'm still doing it because I found out I have leaky gut, which I think a lot of people actually have upon my research. And AIP is a great way to be treating it along with supplements. So I'm, I've added in a lot more supplements into my daily routine and my little habits, my discipline, my micro habits, small habits. But I am hoping that the combo of AIP along with these supplements will help my leaky gut not leak because I don't want that. I don't want to feel this way, but at least it's been helpful getting some answers. My new um, like naturopath was able to determine that based on a couple different tests. So he prescribed different supplements that I've added in. It's been a few days, so I can't tell you if anything's working yet, but the goal is to notice a difference in like two ish, two, three weeks. So AIP is sticking around for the time being. Can't, can't quit it now, not when it's working or helping. And I do have to say, I do feel relatively better. I wrote about it on my Substack. So if you have been to my Substack, you can see a little piece about what I learned from AIP, what went well, what was hard. And obviously now I'm still sticking with it. So I'm gonna keep talking about it. see I got air one because while we were out I could feel a headache slash what quickly became like a migraine coming on and so I knew that Michael had to do more work tonight I also have to do a little bit of work from the shoot that I did earlier today and I just did not have it in me to cook dinner so we went to air one I got the chicken tenders that are breaded in not bread in coconut flour 
So very yummy, gluten-free. And I think there's only like maybe, I guess, a coconut flour. I don't know if you're not supposed to have with AIP or it might be mixed with almond flour, but that's truly the only iffy thing with it. So it is pretty much AIP friendly. So every time I've had it over the last two and a half months since I've been doing this, I have felt fine, which I'm very thankful for because it's nice to be able to get something out that isn't just like avocado and bacon. And then I had a celery and apple side salad, which I've never had at Air One before. And I've actually never thought about doing something like that, but it was actually quite good. And I didn't have to cook. And now I am going to dim these lights because this is not dim, but I'm going to dim these lights and just drop everything off of my SD cards from not only today's vlog, but also that little shoot I did for the content um, that I'm going to put together, all of the Majuri photos, which was so fun to shoot. It's so different shooting product that's not lingerie as someone who's constantly thinking about like full body and clothing and the layers and how everything sits together. It's so nice to just do something a little bit different. And I've been a huge fan of Majuri since they launched. Actually, Michael and I modeled for them, I think six years ago, like right when we first started dating, we modeled for them. So it feels like a full circle moment to be working with them again on some fun content. And it's a brand that I love. I wear a lot of their stuff. So it just made a lot of sense. And I am excited to just plan the week. This is one thing I always do leading into a new week is mentally mentally organized but also i time block out my calendar at least for monday tuesday and wednesday i normally will adjust based on what i get accomplished monday tuesday wednesday and if anything comes up and then time block the rest but that is one of my like i guess unwinding weekend habits it doesn't feel like unwinding but for me it gives me this sense of like calm going into the week that i know i have things time blocked i know what high priorities happen each day I feel more organized going into the week and less anxious about the things that I have to do. This week is going to be a little different because I have a shoot, another shoot, but this one's for Mary Young. So things are a little bit chaotic planning that, or arranging samples, fittings, things like that. And then obviously just like day-to-day -day work, which never seems to end. So it is a bit of a busy week and just making sure that I take this time before I start the week to feel good about what I'm doing. I have a clear picture. Again, it helps with like the mental stress and then I can get into my evening routine. I did put in laundry, so I'm listening for it until I have to put it into the dryer. I'll obviously put away the laundry tonight. That is one area of discipline I'm really working on is I normally leave the laundry in the laundry basket for a couple days and then I eventually fold it and put it away. But what I am trying to do is once it's dry, just put it away. It takes like less than five minutes in all honesty. I can put on a podcast, whatever, just put it away. So those are a few things that I'm going to do before the evening wraps and I do my skincare, get into bed and all that good stuff. But for now, a little bit of computer work in the dim light to help this head. So hopefully tomorrow there's just no head pain. Okay, it is time to go to bed. What a lovely and yet busy somehow day. It feels like somehow weekend days just like fly by the same speed or somehow faster than a weekday for some reason. I don't know if that's just me or what, but sometimes I'm like, okay, somehow the day is over. But it was a good day and it was a nice like balance of time with a friend, time with Michael, and it is easy to not make intentional time with Michael, I think because we both work from home. So it feels like we're always together, though we're working. <laughs> we're not like actually spending intentional time. So it was nice to be able to go out, get him some donuts, get myself a little air one and just have that time together and catch up chat. We like to talk about our week on Sundays. I think that's a big thing for us that has really helped is just like what high level what's going on for each of us. Do we have meetings? Do we have any social plans? Do we have anything that we can support one another with? Like Michael's in a really busy season with work, work right now. So I do my best to plan the menu and the meal 
for us for that week. So I've already done our grocery shopping, which is great, but I now want to make sure that I have all of our meals planned out. So we know what we're eating. He doesn't have to worry about that. That's something I can take care of because I have the mental capacity to right now and he can then focus on work. And so when he's not working, we can spend intentional time together, but it definitely is like a weird thing to be like, yeah, we're always at home together, but it's not intentional time. So yeah, it's even for me, it's something that I'm like trying to wrap my head around. I'm using my Pond's wipes. I love these just with dry skin and sensitive skin. I find it can be sometimes a lot to be like scrubbing things off my face, especially when I do a full face of makeup. But these wipes always have felt great. They do not irritate my eyes keep me feeling my best and they don't, yeah, they don't like affect my skin and make it break out or feel greasy or anything like that. So since doing a bit of work, I have a few of my <laughs> nightly routines that I want to do. I know I mentioned I did laundry. I've not put it away yet. So that'll be my, my last thing before bed. I'll put my pajamas on because I actually washed my pajamas. So I'll have nice, clean, cozy pajamas to hop into, but I also want to tidy up the kitchen, put everything in the dishwasher and turn that on at night so that in the morning when I wake up, that is a part of my morning routine to empty the dishwasher and put away everything from that and anything that we've like hand washed as well. So that helps me like bookend my day. I know I've talked about different habits that start and end your day so that there's like that consistency and a clean kitchen is a big one for me i really just appreciate a clean kitchen i think it helps me feel at ease it makes starting the day feel great when you walk into a clean kitchen really can't go wrong with that a new product i just got is this um vino perfect micro peel instant something instant brightening micro peel um from i never know how to say it caudale Cardelli? No, that's wrong. I don't know how to say it, but it is a new one that I got. It is to help with like obviously cleaning, um, brightening. It has AHA and grape water. I've heard really good things about grape water. So you basically just like put two pumps on your hand, put it in your face and you let it sit for about 30 seconds and then you wash it off. So for me, low lift, pretty easy to do. And I've been using it for a few days now. And so far it's good. No, again, no breakouts. I did read a lot of reviews that it's really good for sensitive skin, which is me. So it feels nice to be able to try something that I'm not worried about trying. 30 seconds, that's all it takes. And then you wash it off and can't tell the difference, but it feels good. I've been using the Dr. Dennis Gross uh, moisturizer, like intense wrinkle cream. I really love this. I started using this probably a year and a half ago and it's been great since. Again, for sensitive skin, it feels amazing on my sensitive skin. It is the right amount of hydration without feeling greasy. Definitely a big fan. It is worth the spend. It lasts me about six months, in all honesty, every time I end up buying a new one, it's about six months and I use it every day and I would say I, I use it generously. So I am not like light on how much I put on. And then a little extra is the, the Hourglass Equilibrium Night Cream for your eyes. So I have like very translucent skin around my eyes. I definitely smile with my eyes, so I would say I have more wrinkles or could get more wrinkles around my eyes. So I like to hydrate more around my eyes. And this is another one I have been using for about a year and a half. Also worth the spend, it lasts much longer, like almost lasts a full year. So again, I think it's worth it. I would use this one lighter. I don't use it every night, but I use it most nights. And that's basically, my nightly skincare routine. And as you know, I've still got the Invisalign going, so I got a floss brush, put the trays in, so I'm ready, locked and loaded for bedtime.
last thing, I swear, this is my last nightly habit routine, is I put out my vitamins. I have a bunch of new supplements, so I put out my vitamins in a little bowl for what I need in the morning because I often forget, especially when I wake up and I just want to get my day started, I can forget to do this. And because I'm working on healing my gut, this is a priority for me. So I like to put these out so there's no excuse for forgetting because otherwise I have, I will. I have forgotten, I will forget. So I put it out. This is something I need to like mix with water. So I leave them out like this, either on the dining room table or the counter. And then I'm set for the morning. So these small little habits set tomorrow up for success and I just feel better. The last thing I'm gonna do is fold my clothes because like I said, that is a discipline habit that is new. Not an easy one, but is one that definitely will make like starting the week, you know, soon feel just like fresh. Nothing's lingering, nothing's sitting around. So everything is set up for me to have another good day tomorrow and to just, you know, feel like my best self, have the discipline, the short-term pain of doing the laundry, of putting the things out, of tidying up for the long-term gain of less stress and just feeling more clear on where I wanna be, who I wanna be, and like being her, being that woman that I just wanna be. So this has been a very kind of sporadic day in my life, but welcome to my life. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably should because I share a lot more there especially just like moments of the day. My Instagram is Mary Aforiata. If you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. You should subscribe. I do other vlogs. I do other conversations around topics like discipline, which is why I'm talking about discipline. And it's been so great getting to grow this community with all of you. I'll see you guys all on the next one. Bye.